Hello, everybody. You are with Tom and Fern. I'm Tom. I'm Fern. Kind of a letdown after Tuesday night. It's sort of like uh, Chris Rock after hosting the Oscars. It is sort of a letdown after the event is over. What event was that, my friend? Oh, it was the best of the HD preps. Fantastic evening, I thought. Were you there? Uh, yeah, I think so. I was the one. <laughs> Speaking of which, did you return your suit that you rented that evening? Did you get it back on time? That's all right. <laughs> was there an overcharge free? It was yeah, a great well, evening. No, I've been, I've been having troubles with my allergies and mm. all the cat hair on your suit. Well, third <laughs> time he's used that left reference, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. But uh, no, <laughs> HT, best of HT preps yeah. at Robarts Arena. The place looked actually spectacular. It's like putting, I hate to say lipstick yeah. on a pig, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it was great. Yeah. Uh, lots of awards for mm -hmm. local athletes. And then uh, was there, a there was a special guest, I heard. Another TT, the more famous TT, uh, Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we actually talked to him, didn't we? We're on we, stage with him. We get to talk. Well, I, 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 I talked yeah. to him. You were sort of, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I talked to him. Yeah. You were sort of worshiping at him. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I got to talk to him backstage a little bit. And uh, just a great guy, very impressive guy. Looks like to me he's done this, obviously, motivational speaking many, many times. And he gets his message across very well. Yeah, it was good. Actually, I was favorably impressed. I kind of went in agnostic, not knowing the, what to expect. Wow. Agnostic. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's the word we use on the editorial page, see? So, uh, Never in the sports world. Yeah. But, you know, he had me when he came on stage, gave me the man hug. When he said hello. Yeah, when he sure. gave me the man hug. And, and, you know, then he mentioned my state championship record. Right. Did you notice that? I noticed that. Yeah. He was trying to, he had a microscope off to, uh, trying to find it. <laughs> right. I mean, the rings have gotten better in the last 50 years. Bigger, too. <laughs> that's right. Not in the face mask. Yeah. But, no, he, he was, it was really good. I thought he, he was inspired. He inspired the kids. Uh, you know, when we were talking on the stage with him for near, almost half an hour, Sure. Uh, I think it was. I mean, could have heard, heard a pin drop in the whole place. I mean, people mm -hmm. were really attentive. Uh, I, I was really favoring players. I thought his, his, he was inspirational. Um, he clearly talked about his faith, but it, that wasn't all they talked about. I thought he kept it simple, and uh, I, was, I was really impressed. Um, what did you think? You, you'd met him before, right? You'd I'd met him before, but only in a game situation covering him after the game. And a after a couple of losses, you know, he wasn't as maybe as agreeable as he was Tuesday night. But uh, as an athlete and as a motivational speaker, as a Christian, he's, he's two different people. As we mentioned before we went on the air, a lot of the, the students, student athletes that he was speaking before, how old were they when he uh, played, when he won his Heisman, when he played in the NFL for yeah, a couple I mean, of years? Yeah, they were eight, nine I years old. I mean, they old. were eight, nine years old. Yeah. But I think his message sort of transcends uh, age It did. At this no, point. I, I thought probably the best part about it, what impressed me the most, is when the you know, student athletes came across the stage, mm -hmm. particularly mm -hmm. if I got to introduce them as opposed to you. Right. Well, um, they understood their names yeah, from, right. uh, pronounced a little better. So they're coming across the stage and they get down to the, they are going to go down some stairs right. at the end of the stage and they look up and there's Tebow standing there. They're going to get their photograph. And what that thought, was unexpected. That was unexpected. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I knew it was going to happen, but they did. Yeah, they right? did. Well, that's the whole point. So <laughs> the kids come down and they see Tebow and he just doesn't lay back and say, hey, you know, come to me. I'm the big man here. I mean, he walked up to the kids at the bottom of the stairs. You know, most of them engaged them, shook their hands, said, hey, let me see your plaque and things like mm -hmm. that. I, I was really cool. Um, and, and that was, you know, it was a big night for them. Big night for them. And like I said, it was unexpected. And I went through the entire f uh, photo gallery of the, uh, the student athletes with their photo with Tebow. And the eyes couldn't have been any bigger. And Adam Bratmuller, who was our uh, All-Area Athlete of the Year in cross country and uh, track and field, mentioned that uh, he was intimidated just seeing Tebow there, just standing there. Yeah. And I could see what that would happen for a lot of athletes. Katie James, the, the, the female right. wrestler featured at the end in a really cool video. Yes. Um, I was backstage and she came off the stage and sees T Bowen. She's like, oh my, she almost melted. Right. It was just so, she was ecstatic. It was, it was one of the coolest things. Yeah, but if you remember on the stage, she was the only one really to take her award and sort of just, you know, thrust it in the air and yeah. say, hey, look at me. I was hoping she was going to body slam, actually body slam you and a little half Nelson there. Well, it would take a lot more strength to body slam you, but, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but that was a great, and yeah, obviously great Terry moment. Smith, who was the amputee kid who wants to play football, 14-year-old. Right. I saw the photos of him with Tebow. I mean, he had a smile a mile yeah, wide. Really and cool. you can tell Tebow had a little special place for him because that's what Tebow preaches, overcoming obstacles. And what's a bigger obstacle than trying to play football on, yeah. on one leg? Yeah, it was really cool. Actually, um, that one and, and remind me the other, the other. Kyle student. Peters, yeah, who, who beat uh, sort of a yeah. brain tumor to come I back. I had, uh, I was sitting down in, in, at the edge mm. of the audience and the videos were on. I finally said, you know what, I can't watch these things right. because I was not going to get all choked up. 
There were, there were, a, there few, were, really, there were yeah. a few wet eyes in the house. Yeah. And each one got a standing ovation yeah. after we're it was, shown, it which was is really tremendous. Good. All right. So, Any lasting uh, impressions about Tebow? Uh, we, I asked him about maybe uh, uh, joining, uh, becoming uh, a politician, political office. He, he laughed, and he's, you know, maybe down the road a piece. He'd make a great politician. What I do you, don't think so. You don't think so? No. Why? I, I, you don't think his honesty would sort of precede him and his name, name recognition? Oh, yeah, I think he could get elected. I just don't, right. I just don't see. You know, I talked to a good friend of mine after, after the event, mm. and he said he just, that Tebow just reminded him of a big kid. Right. You know, he just kind of has that almost this you know, naivete is of sort. I mean, he's been around, you know, he's played in the NFL and everything, but he just kind of has this. Well, uh, he was homeschooled, so he, yeah. was, he didn't grow up in that social, you know, school yeah. environment. I, I don't know whether that lends anything yeah. to it. but uh, So where, where, what are we going to do for an encore? For next year? I don't know how you get anything better than, than Tim Tebow next year. Maybe we could, you know, get Ray Lewis, but uh, that wouldn't be no. so hard. No, huh? yeah. Or maybe just you and me. No. <laughs> just, just, yeah, just, you know, unvarnished. I mean, you know how popular this is. I, I, right? I, don't, so I, I don't think we could carry the stage, unlike Mr. Tebow did. Yeah. So this is going to be an, an annual sort of thing. We're yeah, going to be doing nice. this, uh, you know. Yeah, your, your editor, Scott Peterson, uh, showed up in a suit. Got up there. Yeah, suit. And uh, Lembo, John Lembo. And he did. Dennis, Dennis Mappazzoli. Got a little shout out. As I said cool. today, we all managed to scrounge together four sport jackets and, and throw them on and look halfway decent. <laughs> halfway. All right. So uh, the Red Sox are in first place. Red Sox in first place. You guys having a little pitching problem. Uh, yeah. Rays have suddenly stopped hitting, but uh, the pitching may get there. As we said from the very beginning, it uh, it may be a dogfight in that division, or my Red Sox may run away with it. No, I don't know. Not kind. Yeah. All right, Lightning tonight. Lightning tonight. They're going to win in Pittsburgh. Don't know. They're, they're, their game seven record is about five and one. They're very good, but they don't have Ben Bishop going. Uh, Stamkos still. Uh, game sevens are the greatest thing in, in really professional yeah, sports. They're really exciting. It is good. All right. I know. All right. We're going to come back. We're coming back next week? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Next week? Yeah, we're going to talk about your uh, Golden Trump of the War. Oh, yeah, did you? <laughs> you know, I really did feel kind of, kind of, out of not out of place, but uh, I look out, there's this great you know, room of athletes, and I almost, what I almost said was looking at you, uh, a legend in your own mind, I almost said, you know, pseudo-athlete, but I gave you your props. Uh, you did, And Thank I said you. that the band geek was up there on stage with the... Uh, all right. know, state champion. All right. Well, we, we may riff on, on band stuff yeah. over the summer, maybe, kind of. So. What else is it a riff on? No, no. All right. Exactly. We'll okay. Well, that's it. Else. It was fun. Great time. It was a great time. And we hope to do it again next year. Just as big and better than ever. Yeah. Good. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's, that's it. it. Thanks. We'll see you guys. <laughs>